Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Well, we're still dealing with a handful of clouds around middle Georgia. A lot of them are indeed upper level clouds, but they're not necessarily letting sun through everywhere, especially further off to the southeast. It's taking a little bit more time than expected for those to clear out, which may help to keep things even cooler than already expected for today. Of course, most of the peach stay under a freeze warning that will actually go into effect as we head into tomorrow morning and remain in effect until 8 a.m. as temperatures overnight tonight. And for many of us, not just getting below freezing, but getting into the upper 20s. So very, very cold night ahead of us around middle Georgia. Going to high of 54 in Macon today as well as Eastman and Abbeville, 55 for McCray and for Scythe. Those are the warm spots around the region this afternoon. Uh, wind gusts were expected to be about 15 miles per hour today, but we're already seeing them over 20 miles per hour in Macon. So if they continue to get stronger like that, we could definitely see some wind chills that don't even get above 50 degrees for a handful of spots as we go throughout the afternoon hours. So keep the jacket on hand all throughout the day today if you're going to be outside. Heading into tonight, we're seeing wind chills that are colder than what we woke up to this morning. That's ahead of midnight. This is what we'll wake up to in the morning in terms of what it feels like. Grab your heavy winter gear today. Have it set aside and ready to go for tomorrow morning as obviously uh, that could slow things down having to get things ready. It's going to be a very, very cold morning and for some of us we could potentially set some new record lows just because of how cold it is. As for tomorrow afternoon though, a little bit warmer back into those mid 50s. Shouldn't be as much wind for us. Another day of sun where we aren't really dealing with as much clouds that should allow us to warm a little bit faster. Uh, we could see a couple clouds head into tomorrow night. Sure, but that's not going to do much to insulate us. We're still going to be down around freezing or just above it heading into our Saturday morning. Here are the actual lows for tonight. So again, a couple of these could end up being record setters around the region for sight. The one spot over 30 degrees right at freezing. Everywhere else is below freezing with Eastman at 25 being the cold spot. So some tips ahead of tonight. Drip your faucets. We don't have insulated pipes here in Georgia, so you don't want to deal with a pipe burst. Drip your faucets a little bit and that'll protect, uh, protect them. Uh, as for your plants, if you've got them outside, if you can bring them in, just bring them in. But if you can't bring them in, spray them with water. That will help to protect them when that water freezes by warming the plant. And if you have pets outside, please bring them in. You wouldn't want to stay outside in that cold. They don't need to either. And of course, I already mentioned, have your winter gear ready to go for tomorrow. Why do I say spray the plants with water? Well, because as the water freezes and turns into ice, the heat inside the water gets put out onto the plant. The inverse of this, you go to the store, you buy a 12 pack of colas, all right? They're room temperature. You've got friends coming over. You want to chill them down. So you pour them in a cooler with some ice and that ice melts and makes your colas cool. In 10 seconds, we'll check out your seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 40 to, uh, uh, 40, 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. It is going to be a cool weekend going forward. The polar vortex pattern most certainly is going to keep things on the chilly side, especially during the overnight hours tonight. And then again, Sunday night, that could also potentially be a record setter there. And next weekend, the polar vortex begins to retreat north, though, so tracking a bit of a warming pattern. We'll have to see if any wet weather awaits us for Thanksgiving.